Okay. Back of the bandsaw, I want to start cutting out the leg shapes here. Uh, as I talked about before, I want to make sure that my cuts always engage both sides of the bandsaw blade. And so I'll be cutting this end here, wrapping this thing around. Uh, I'll do the same on this opposite side, get rid of those pieces of material. And then I'll be able to start carving out some more of this, this stuff. Um, all right, not much to it. Let me start my cuts. I'll see you in a sec. So I have the profile of this, which is great, that's important. The bad news is I've cut off all of the marks that I made on this face, which I desperately need in order to know where to cut. So this piece is gone, you can kind of follow the, the grain. This is where it goes. So what I want to do is reconnect these pieces temporarily. Uh, and there's really no good substitute to old fashioned tape for doing this. Uh, if I were to glue this thing down or use pins or any other capacity of, of holding, I'm going to run into the problems later on down the road. And I don't like problems. Okay, so truing up the ends here, making sure that the edges are aligned. A lot of people when they're taping, I think underestimate the importance of this tape thing. And so, they only tape on two ends here, but if I'm cutting through this piece, I'm now just relying on one piece of tape somewhere else. So I want to go three and four to give me the most amount of contact or surface area for this stuff to hold. So I'm going to do this as quick as I can. I'm going to throw that away in the appropriate location. Alright. Okay, so, good shape here. Uh, this is a fairly subtle cut, the one that I started with, but you'll notice I did save this little chunk here as well. I want to save that just for a little bit of additional support when I get to the end of the cut. Um, bandsaw, unlike some other saws that woodworkers have, introduces all of the force to the spinning blade, basically down to this rotating blade, straight down. And so if I don't have cor corresponding support fighting against that force, What's going to happen when I get to the end of this cut, so I'm cutting, 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 I'm keeping my hands away from the blade. Uh, all of that force, especially right here, could start to pick this thing up at the end, and I don't want to be in any surprises, especially when I'm getting towards the end of the cut. My hands are in a really vulnerable spot, and surprises anytime you're woodworking are just not fantastic. So. All right, go through the same process that I did for the first round, and hopefully it looks awesome.
once again, don't get in the habit of doing that. Okay. So I'm pretty pleased with what I think I'm starting to see develop with this leg. Let me see if I can't pull this out so you can see what I'm seeing. So uh, I've got kind of a good shape for the bottom of the leg here. Straight legs all the way up, so nothing special there necessarily, but I kind of like what this looks like. If I were doing, if this is the design that I wanted to proceed with, then what I would do is, uh, again, after the joinery is cut up above, I would get all of these to this level, doing my best to stay awfully close to my line. Then I would be able to clamp them one by one by one together, and then I could start doing some creative sanding or um, spoke shaves or scraper uh, to get in and start truing these things up. Uh, but it makes a big difference to have all of those stacked side by side so I can follow along a much broader surface. Uh, it's, it's very easy if I'm just sanding this one piece, hand sanding, orbital sander, whatever, to start rolling those corners, which I really don't want to do. So, be able to clamp these together as I'm sanding. Once I'm done with all of these faces, bringing them up to grit, I'll rotate all of them around and then be able to start truing up these. And by doing so, you start to get all of these looking symmetrical and uh, like we know what we're doing, which is always important. Cool. All right. Best of luck, everyone.